Today we're going to go over how to set up the DOM in Atis. You can see that I'm connected to the BTC USD pair on Bybit and here's my DOM set up as I like it on the right hand side. This is my layout for trading order flow uh, for Bitcoin and um, so let's begin. So let's first make this full screen and I'm going to show you how I made each one of these columns and how I set up this DOM. So let's start by going through these columns. The first column are my orders and they'll only appear there if you're trading through Atis. This is an advanced topic and I'm not going to talk about that again. The next column I want is the bid changes. In other words, people adding or subtracting from these uh, limit order buys over here. You can see the changes there. Um, these are the limit orders, limit buy orders stacked up over here. You can see them over there with a little volume chart on the side. These are the market sells. In other words, these guys over here, the sellers, have come across here and they have hit the bid as we say they've come in with a market order and they're going to sell at whatever price is going okay uh, this is the price and i've got this set to one tick um, you can see the ticks over here oh it's actually set to two uh, let's set it to one okay so that means um the price one tick in bitcoin is 50 us cents okay these are the market buys in other words these guys have come over to here and they have lifted the offer or they've hit the offer they have come in here and done a market order to get what they want so that's the market buys these are the limit cells stacked up over here you can see and um, Atis can be set up by just clicking one of these to put your limit order in. These are the ask changes, people that are uh, adding or subtracting from their limit order cells. This is the volume and you see I've set it up as a, a vo and you can see the high area nodes, you could see single prints if they were there and so on. So let's begin by right clicking and going to settings and we're going to go through all of this. So these are my various templates that I have over here. These are the common settings. So we're not going to do any trading so let's just leave that. I don't want any slippage for my stop orders. Um, so my visual settings are the row height. That's the height of these rows over here. Let's make them wider. You can see as I make them wider, these columns get wider. Uh, let's just go back to 20. All right, so that's the size that I like. The background color is the color which is behind all these columns. I've set black in all these columns, so you can't see that color. Here I've made this first column transparent, so this background color is shining through. Here I've got the center line over here set to show, and if I wanted it wider, I could make it a 5, and then we get a nice thick line over here. In fact, I do like it, so I'm going to leave it. Okay, so those are the common settings. Let's go back to the columns and the first column is my orders. So let's set this color back to black. So that's the background. We're going to set it to black. Now you can see it's black over there. So the first thing is if you need any one of these parameters, say now I wanted um, notes, I could add the notes here. There's my notes, but I don't actually want notes. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to delete notes. Okay, so these selected columns I've dragged down from there. I've added them down from there. And the top one is the left-hand column. The next one is the next column and so on. So if I wanted these orders, say 
move it across I just drag this down to there and now you can see that my orders are here. So whatever order we have over here is going to be the order from left to right. I want my orders at the top. So let's take it back. So in this order column, a lot of these settings only apply if we've actually got orders in there. So that's not a good example to go through. Uh, the depth changes, I've set this to bid changes, which means it's going to show you the changes of these bids. In other words, people adding or subtracting from these limit order bids. So I think a good column to go through in detail will be this bids column over here. So let's go through the settings we have on the bids column over here. So filter is advanced, I'm gonna leave that out. Here I'm saying show the best price, you can see over there. And I've set it to transparent, which means it's gonna show up the background color. Remember the background color was gray. Um, this button over here refers to that. If I wanted to change that, I can put XXX and you can see there's XXX. So let's put it back to market. See, right, if I wanted to change the color of that button, I can change it over here. I'm not going to do that now. If I want to change the font color, I could put in a number over there. The common settings, this is the volume over here of the limit orders. I could change that to order count or average volume, but uh, and they're all very similar, but I'm gonna leave it on volume, that's my font. Um, this over here is the width of the column. In other words, I might want this one fairly wide and I've got this one fairly narrow, that's my font. Um, unavailable, if there's no data, we're not even gonna show those. And then this is the histogram. There's my histogram over there of my volume. I've got it to show. I've got it right to left. If I wanted it left to right, I just click on that and you can see the difference over there. So I've got it from right to left. My header. I've written bid over there, but you can't see it because I've got show cumulative values. So those are the cumulative volumes that are over there. If I wanted to see my bid that I'd written, I'd just uncheck that. This is the color I've chosen. You can see green for bids. Generally, I like green for bids and red for sales. Okay, so now we're dealing with the market sales over here, this red column. Don't worry too much about the clear interval, just how quickly these numbers go away. The width, you remember on the last one I had it set to 80, this one I want slightly narrower, so it's 48. That's my font, uh, that's my font color over there, and that's my background. If I wanted to change it to say purple, I could. Okay, but let's keep it red for cells. Um, uh, the last trade settings are slightly uh, paler red and the flash settings are also paler. Don't worry about the filters. My header over here is market cells. I've written it there. You can see market cells and I want it in this red color. The box is black. I could change that to white if I wanted to. And um, I think that's all we need to worry about on this column. The next column we're gonna go through is the price column over here. And these are my header settings. You can see I've written price in there and there's the price. Um, I want this column 80 again, which is a similar size to the other one. And this is my font color. I want the current day prices and the background is black, I could change that to whatever color I wanted. The last trade, we could show the last trade over here if we wanted to. Um, P&L and all of that is probably only gonna be useful if you're using Atis to trade, which I said was advanced and we're not gonna do that here. 
The next column we're going to do are these market buys and you can see how I've set it up over here with a green background. Actually I don't, I can't really see these white numbers so let's change that to black. Alright that shows up a little bit better and these, these settings are similar to the red column over here. This limit sell column over here I've set up very similar to the limit buy column excepting I've got it in red I've got the width set at 80 the histogram over here the volume histogram I've got it set to show if I didn't want to show it I'd click over there that's the color I have this time I've got it from left to right if I wanted from right to left I'd click over there these are my header settings and I've got ask over here but you can't see it because I've set it to show the cumulative volume. If I wanted ask, I would untick that. This column over here, the ask changes, I have set to ask changes, so it's just the changes in these limit cells, people taking away their orders and adding to the orders. A minus they're taking away, you can see there's a lot being taken away over here and we're not going to go into the strategy that you use but there are strategies which you look at for ask changes okay the final column is this histogram profile over here so that's that column over there so we want to show the histogram uh, there's the histogram on that side and we want the current day and we want volume. We could have bid ask, we could have delta, we could have anything there but I prefer to have volume and I want it pointing right to left not left to right. Uh, these bid colors will only show under di uh, different circumstances. So there's my maximum value which is my point of control which is yellow here it is over here and uh, we've selected to show the value area over here this is a normal color this blue is the value area let's make it a more distinctive color so the purple is the value area over there um, text alignment center the width i've got at 80 again uh, those settings are intuitive the header I've got volume up over here, I've got a black background and that's my font. Um, these settings here aren't as important. You can uh, show whether the histogram is up ticking or down ticking and you can use various colors to do that. But you can actually see that where the market sells and the market buys are. The final thing we're going to do is when we're happy with our template, we're going to save it. This is a template that already has a name. If I wanted to add a new name, I just click add and give it a name. But I am going to just save it as that particular one, which is my template. So there it is saved. So all the changes that I made are now saved in that template. All right, and then the final thing is we are we're going to resize our, our template and put it over there. So when we exit, we can save this layout and then we will have this template come up every time. So this has been a simple tutorial on how to set up your depth of market, your DOM, and how to put it in position. It does not include any strategies or how to read this or in fact trading from the DOM which you can do um, I would suggest that you do not start trading directly from Atis until you've done 500 trades directly from your exchange once you are advanced trading from Atis is superb you can set up strategies you can do everything that you can do on your exchange and you don't have to have an extra window so thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.